I think most Power BI developers that have used visual calculations agree that they are generally easier to understand and write than traditional tax measures. And they are especially great for controlling visual specific elements like dynamic titles or the scaling of your axes or other conditional formatting options. But maybe they can also save you in a scenario where you have slow DAX measures and you don't know or don't have the time to optimize these DAX measures. Then visual calculations maybe are an easy alternative. Well, if that is true, we're going to check now. Now for that, we're going to have a look at three common calculation types. The first one is going to be a Pareto calculation. The second one, a moving average. And the third one is going to be a calculation to set the maximum and the minimum. Now, to clearly see the differences, we also need a big data model. So that's what we have over here. Now, the main table that we're going to use for the calculations is this one here, FST sales, which is connected to the product dimension, the date dimension, store and customer. Now, that sales table has 211 million rows. So I think if there's any difference between visual calculation speed versus additional DAX measures, it should be visible. All right, now let's go to the report. And here we have two identical visuals. However, the one that you see on the left, there I'm using a traditional DAX measure to draw the line, the Pareto line. And there on the right hand side, I'm using a visual calculation. Here you see, I have actually two visual calculations. Step one, you see here on the tooltips, let me edit it. Now what we have over here is quite a bit shorter than what we had before. As a first step, we divide the total quantity by the overall grand total. Now to get that grand total, we collapse all of these subcategories, everything that we have on the rows, and this way we get the grand total, and then we just divide the quantity by that number, which are the numbers that you see over here. As a second step, we want to, well, sort the subcategories in descending order by the percentage of grand total, and then calculate a running sum up to uh, that subcategory. Now, and that's what we see in that second visual calculation over here. And that's it. You see, much more understandable and easier to write than the traditional DAX measure. But is it also faster? Let's check. Now to test that, we're going to open up the performance analyzer and I'm also going to open up DAX Studio. Now DAX Studio makes it easy to clear the cache, go here to the first visual and refresh it. And then I do the same for the second visual. And you see that Pareto chart with the normal DAX calculation ran for 700 milliseconds and the second one with the visual calculation, about half of that. However, we're still in import mode and here we already see a clear difference. But now let's also try this in direct query mode. And boom, it is already done under two seconds. A huge difference versus the traditional DAX measure. So here, if I click on the plus icon, you see it's really the DAX query that makes the difference.